I don't know about you, but man, that rain this weekend, it sure was refreshing. <laughs> it was it's still, so nice. And still sticking around, too. Yeah, a lot of the people got an early chance to uh, check their roof integrity over the weekend. I think the uh, roofers were busy across the Bay Area today because anything that can leak did well. leak with some of those heavier <laughs> rainfall rates yesterday. But it's just nice to see a little bit of bonus rain during the month of September. Helped out the air quality. It certainly helps to mitigate the fire threat. And we're not done with the rain chances just yet. This doesn't end fire season, but every little bit definitely helps. Scattered showers, even a couple of thunderstorms, still possible tomorrow and again Wednesday. But like today, they're going to be more miss than hit. It's lower than a 50-50 rain chance in any particular spot, but still be flexible with any outdoor plans. We'll see a mix of clouds and sunshine and below average temperatures for inland parts of the Bay Area in between those showers tomorrow and Wednesday. And then once the dry weather takes over, the warmer weather takes over. Inland heat building back in as we head into the weekend. It's not going to be crazy hot like it was a couple of weeks ago but it will be noticeable as we head into the weekend. Let's take a look at first alert Doppler. Some showers right now in Alameda County, including one that's skirting right through Livermore. Some heavier downpours here about to cross right over 580, right at the peak of rush hour. The timing there could be better. A little more activity as you look towards the Altamont Pass and then a little bit farther down to the higher elevations of southern Alameda County. Other than a little shower right on top of Mount Diablo, there's not much happening in Contra Costa County for the moment. There is more happening over Solano County and Napa County, especially in the mountainous terrain of eastern Napa County even a couple of these cells trying to become actual thunderstorms. Again, if you can hear thunder, that means the lightning is close enough to be a threat, so you want to head inside until you can't hear the thunder anymore. All the showers are lifting farther and farther to the north, but things are going to fade off the radar as we head farther into this evening. Futurecast shows the activity right now, largely lifting up to the north within a couple hours after the sun goes down. Maybe a couple little hit or miss showers as we head towards midnight. The bulk of that's going to be in the Central Valley. And then a calmer pattern into early tomorrow morning, but we're going to see more activity developing by tomorrow afternoon into tomorrow evening. Again, it's lower than a 50-50 rain chance, so widely scattered to just scattered activity tomorrow and again on Wednesday. And then the forecast dries out and it stays dry. So we head through the rest of the week into the weekend. Temperatures today definitely reflected that cloud cover and the intermittent rain chances. Most of us in the low to mid 70s, upper 60s for Pacifica, but these inland temperatures anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees below average. And right now it's still a mix of 60s and 70s on the map. With that shower in the vicinity, it's only 66 degrees in Livermore. A couple weeks ago, we were talking about a temperature that was 50 degrees hotter than that. So this has been an abrupt shift. Temperatures tonight are going to drop down mostly to the mid to upper 50s to around 60 degrees. But it's going to be another day where temperatures are close to average along the coast and around the bay with 60s and 70s, but mostly 70s farther inland, mainly mid to upper 70s. That's anywhere from 5 to 7 degrees below average. Temperatures will stay nearly steady Wednesday with that continuing chance of intermittent showers. And then we dry out Thursday and Friday. The warmest days will be Saturday and Sunday, mid to upper 70s around the bay, upper 80s in San Jose, and even some low 90s inland in the East Bay Saturday and Sunday, and still temperatures hovering anywhere from 5 to 7 degrees above average by the beginning of the last week of September.